Scott here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a simple philosophy. When you're dealing with people in your business, in your daily life, at church, at school, or if you're traveling, uh, what you want to do is be aware of people that um, suck the time, suck the life out of uh, your activities, suck, you know, just take so much of your time. Um, you want to control who you surround yourself with. You also want to control the, the negative and positive thoughts you have. I like to think of it as you're gardening your mind, meaning you're pulling the weeds, you're pulling the, the uh, nasty, thorny, prickly uh, thistles that are, are growing in your garden. The garden is the positive thoughts you have. The more thoughts, more positive thoughts you have, um, you need, you got to have room for them to grow. Um, in order to do that, you have to protect your, uh, garden. And with each new thought that you plant in your mind, you have to nurture, you have to water it, you have to take care of it. You have to give the correct potting soil or soil or proper food to your thoughts and as you let the thoughts grow in your mind make sure that they are the right thoughts make sure you surround yourself with the right people make sure you have laid out your plan by doing the real simple things um, you will harvest, you will reap the great benefit of proper planning, of proper socializing, of proper uh, weeding your garden that's in your mind. Because we want to take a look at the theme here of weeding your garden based on the idea that many people that are going to listen to this video or audio will be someone that's in the landscape business. So that's why we chose to use gardening your mind. Um, I also got this idea from a friend of mine who uh, listens to um, leaders like Brian Tracy and Zig Ziglar and, and so on. But the important part, the point I want you to take away today is to stay focused and uh, keep growing your business with positive thoughts. Thanks again.